rifle was found on the sixth floor, back near the stairway, between some cartons, by Deputy Constable Seymour Weitzman. And from that episode came a description that has plagued the Warren Commission account for years. The identification of it as a German Mauser. Eddie Barker asked Constable Weitzman what happened. To be very frank with I stumbled over it two, two times, not knowing it was there. Just went right by? Went right by and uh, Mr. Boone was climbing on top, and I was down on my knees looking, and uh, I moved a box, and he moved a carton, and there it was. And he, in turn, hollered that we had found the rifle. Well, when did you first get a full view of the gun? When the crime lab brought the gun out after they had uh, gone over it. Well, I could see portions of the gun while they were in doing partial investigation of it there in the building. What kind of gun did you think it was? To my sorrow, I looked at it, and it looked like a Mauser, which I said it was, but I said the wrong one because it just at a glance I saw the Mauser action, and uh, I don't know, it just came out words, it's uh, a German Mauser, which it wasn't. It's an Italian-type gun. But from a glance, uh, it's hard to describe, and that's all I saw. It was at a glance. I was mistaken, and it was proven that uh, my statement was a mistake, but it was an honest mistake. So Mr. Weitzman now seems sure that the rifle was indeed Oswald's Manker Carcano, and that his identification was simply a mistake. But the most important ballistic evidence in the case is a spent bullet, two bullet fragments, and three empty shells, or hulls, as they are sometimes described, the nearly whole bullet was found in Procton Hospital under circumstances we'll consider in detail tomorrow night. The two fragments were found in the presidential limousine. The shells were found here on the sixth floor, below the windows here, by patrolman Gerald L. Hill, who told Eddie Barker about it. We saw a barricade, a sort of three-sided barricade of boxes that would have shielded anyone between the, the boxes and the window from general view. Uh, from the rest of the floor and then immediately under the window uh, that was later determined to be the actual spot that the shots were fired from. There were three rifle bullet hulls uh, right against the baseboard of the, the building where the floor and the wall come together. One of the experts who made the ballistic examination for the Warren Commission was Dr. Joseph D. Nickel, superintendent of the Bureau of Criminal Investigation for the state of Illinois. Walter Lister asked about his conclusions. It was my feeling that uh, both uh, the fragments as well as the one uh, relatively whole bullet uh, had been fired in the same gun and then based upon the comparison of the tests which were available to me, uh, it was my opinion that the same uh, weapon which fired the tests also fired uh, the, uh, the three evidence specimens. In the case of the virtually intact bullet that was found on a stretcher in Parkland Hospital and the two fairly sizable fragments found in the front of the presidential limousine, you felt that those were definitely fired from Oswald's ri rifle? Yes, sir. To the exclusion of all others? To the exclusion of all others. others.